everybody. Scott Spritzer here. DocSports.com with our update for Saturday, December 14, 2019. Free pick coming up in college baskets. Get to that in just a moment. First, a quick note. If you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, if you're new to these videos, here's what you do. You just give it a trial run. Real cool way to do this. You click on the link below this video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. And the cool thing about it, even though it's a free $60 account, you get the guarantee along with it, the Doc Sports guarantee. So don't miss out. Click on the link below this video to get yourself started with that free $60 account. Cool way to give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, free college basketball play in just a moment. We split overall last night with our premium picks. The winner uh, was the Charlotte Hornets, a nice six and a half to seven point underdog. They went to seven uh, before tip off and got the win outright on the road over Chicago. Uh, so a split last night overall, nice little run going on in the NBA. I did drop my free pick here last night in college basket, so we'll look to get right back into the win column there. But here's what's going on for me on Saturday at DocSports.com. You know, some four dozen, a little more than four dozen college basketball games take center stage outside of Army, Navy, and football on Saturday. I've got a multiple play card in the top play in Saturday's college baskets, a seven unit play. 67% with these plays on the season. We had a real nice seven unit winner last Saturday, so if this Saturday goes as well as last, Saturday, we're going to be putting some money in everybody's pockets. Last Saturday, the seven-unit play was Illinois, plus uh, the double digits over Maryland. They covered the spread by 10, almost won the game outright. Uh, but again, a seven-unit play leads Saturday's college basketball. My college basketball at DocSports.com is available each and every day at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. As far as everything else, NFL is available right now. Five NFL sides for Sunday available right now at DocSports.com. Uh, we are on a 34-20 and 20 63% run in football over the past seven weeks. If we go 5-0, and we raise that to 39 and 20, almost 67% against the spread. You can go grab the NFL right now. It is ready. It's available at DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. NBA, as I mentioned, winner last night with Charlotte. We'll have our NBA and our NHL available Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Passed in the NHL last night. We'll be back in action with Saturday's busier card. All right, that was a lot to talk about. A couple of quick notes. Be sure to tune in to ESPN National on Sunday morning. Every single Sunday morning, about a half hour before the games kick off of the NFL, we give the betting report both globally and from the state of Nevada. And uh, of course, we'll be doing it again right through the regular season for about five years now. So check that out on an ESPN location near you. Again, 1230 Eastern, 930 AM Pacific, give or take a couple of minutes. All right, let's get to our free pick for Saturday's college basketball. And uh, it's the matchup between Utah State and BYU. Uh, BYU lay in two points in this one. It's a neutral court game in Salt Lake. It's part of the Beehive Classic. Four Utah teams taking part. You got Utah taking on Weber in one game and then of course in this one, Utah State and BYU. And we do like Brigham Young minus the bucket here. They're laying two as I cut this video. And listen, this team is outstanding from the deep perimeter. They're 15th in the country, three-point percentage, even though they moved that line back. They're also, by the way, overall 27th in the nation in shooting overall. Uh, so they're doing a really uh, good job of distributing to good looks and high percentage shots for this team, relatively speaking, uh, when it comes to their offensive attack. What I like about BYU better than even I like, you know, three or four weeks ago is you got Yoli Childs back in the mix. 6'8", big forward. Uh, he can grab the boards. He can clean the glass. There's no doubt about it. And in three games since his season began for himself with his BYU team, he's scored 56 points. He's grabbed 34 rebounds. I mean, this guy is a huge difference maker. You're talking about 19 points and 11 boards per game in the three games he's played thus far. They clocked the Nevada schools, UNLV and Nevada Reno, beat them both by over 30 points. And the reason he's such a big deal in this particular game, because he's going to take on Utah State's Justin Bean. If they didn't have Yoli Childs ready for this game, Justin Bean probably goes off and grabs 14 or 15 boards in this contest. But I don't think that happens with Childs in the mix. Justin Bean is great at cleaning the glass, but now he's got some competition. So with BYU, got, you got this great perimeter game, and then you got a guy underneath who can clean the glass and also create second or even third chance opportunities at times throughout the course of the game. Sam Merrill, by the way, the update on him for Utah State is your 20 point per game man for the Aggies. 
probably going to play from what they're saying. Uh, he's been a little under the weather. He's got an illness, but it looks like he's going to give it a go on Saturday night. Speaking of Saturday night, the game goes at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And then you look at what's happened uh, with Utah State. Been a little overvalued since the win over LSU. They've lost four straight against the spread. And with Yoli Child switching back to Brigham Young being back in the mix, you've now got five players for BYU that average between 19 and 9 points per game. I think it's a tough spot for the Aggies. I think BYU's line at minus two is quite fair. And we have a free pick on BYU minus the bucket over Utah State. All right, don't forget about my stuff over at DocSports.com. Premium picks run in football, 34 and 20, 63% last seven weeks. Get all five sides for Sunday right now. 11.30 a.m. Eastern, I release my college basketball for Saturday, including that big seven unit play. Hey, if you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here Saturday night by 10 p.m. Pacific time. We'll have a free pick for Sunday's card at that time. Best of luck on Saturday.